apparently it sold out right and according to big turk and what they're announcing is that they had to put in an extension uh, uh to, they, they had to put in a request to extend the capacity to ninety six thousand. damn this fight is great man the the heavyweight division is seeing a resurgence right in front of our eyes are you not entertained are you not entertained if i tell you i'm good probably you will say i'm supposed to. if i tell you i'm no good you know one line <laughs> Yo, what's good, YouTube? It's your boy, Dr. PGNG. I'm praise God to get money back for another YouTube video. Banger, man. Yes, sir. Yes, man. I don't know what time it is. The doctor's in the house, man. Check this out, man. So we got Anthony Joshua versus Dubois, man. I think this fight is going under the radar. It's actually in less than about three weeks, right? Uh, September 21st. So and we're at the end of August now. So, um, yeah, man, this fight is sneaking up, sneak, sneaking up on us, right? And right now we're talking about, you know, Canelo Alvarez. Y'all know I rock with cinnamon, but I'm going to be honest, man. The, uh, I'm not excited for the cinnamon uh, uh, versus uh, Berlanga fight. You know, I think it's going to be decent, but I, I, it's definitely um, not that intriguing in my opinion. Um, and then we also have the Better Be of a Bivol fight coming up, but that's in October, right? You know, so all these fights that we have that I'm that I'm looking forward to, you know, it's like we're overlooking Anthony Joshua versus Daniel Dubois, and I think it's crazy because this fight is great, man. The the heavyweight division is seeing a resurgence right in front of our eyes. You know what I'm saying? And um, with, with, who who do we have? Now we got Daniel Dubois, of course. We got Anthony Joshua, of course. We got the you know Alexander Usyk. He, he's 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 aging, but he's still having that rematch for uh, what is technically not to undisputed rematch but we all know what it is man because he had to give up the ibf belt you know um so it's not technically an undisputed rematch between him and tyson fury but it's still a high stake massive that's much anticipated so we have that then we have a jit kabayel we have the emergence of um of martin bacoli from the democratic republic of congo we still have zayle zang you know you know we um the, the heavyweight division is looking good. I'm sure I'm missing some people, but you know, um, no, no disrespect, you know. But I, I think, uh, oh, Joseph Parker is still there. So, uh, man, the heavyweight division is looking deep, and this fight is definitely probably the second biggest fight, right? Because we got to give the respect to Tyson Fury and Usyk rematch. But after that, man, Usyk and uh, uh, Daniel Dubois and Anthony Joshua is a great fight, man. That we are overlooking, man. You know, especially us Americans, because you know, there's a little void when it comes to the heavyweight division on the American side, but me, I, I love boxing, man. I could care less if if if, if, if the great fighters that are participating in the, in, the, in the super fight come from Jamaica, Nigeria, Australia, England, I could care less, man. As long as it's good fights, I'm here for it from good boxers, man. And I think that's exactly what we're getting and it's definitely being overlooked and overshadowed, man, but not by everybody, right? It's apparently it's sold out, right? And according to Big Turk and what they're announcing is that they had to put in an extension uh, uh, to, they, they had to put in a request to extend the capacity to 96,000. So this fight is so great and being so appreciated by others um, that they're anticipating it to set the record, you know, um, for Wembley Stadium. And I think that the, the the current record holder for a boxing fight is uh, Tyson Fury versus Dylan White. And this, no disrespect to them, and shout out to both of them. Tyson Fury is one of my favorite heavyweights right now. But man, Anthony Joshua and Dubois should be a much more uh, a, a competitive fight and a much more highly anticipated fight. You know what I'm saying? Because I think that both Anthony Joshua, we already know he's a bona fide star. Yep. And I think Daniel Dubois has some star power that, that that is emerging, you know? So man, this fight is good. I personally have Daniel Dubois winning. What did he say? Oh. Um, if, as an upset, but I'm not saying that, oh, he's for sure gonna beat Anthony Joshua. This is a good fight. Like it can go either way. I think Anthony Joshua is where the smart money should go. But man, I'm just thinking about who Daniel Dubois beat, man. You know, he had that controversial call um, uh, against Usyk, um, where he dropped him, you know, but the, but the referee, we're going to go with the discretion of the referee. The referee said it was a low, bolt, a low blow, so that's what it is, man. I'm not one for the controversy, you know what I'm saying? I try to avoid it whenever I can because there's a lot of controversy in boxing. We don't need to add to it, but it was definitely a questionable call, but even even besides that, you know, uh, Daniel Dubois, he just beat Jarrell Big Baby Miller, which that win is looking better since Jarrell Big Baby, Baby Miller just you know, got robbed. We think he got robbed. He beat Andrew Ruiz, right? But it was called a draw. So that was a very uh, uh, beneficial um, ruling in, in favor of Ruiz because everybody was watching that knew that Jarrell Big Baby Miller won that fight, you know? And then also, you know, he beat Kevin Lorena um, in the past. You know, he just came off a win off of Philip Hergovich most recently, you know, who was considered the heavy, the, the boogeyman of the heavyweight division. But he does have some shaky losses, like I said, to Usyk. Um, but Usyk, there's no shame in that. Usyk's won two or three on the pound for pound list right now. First undisputed heavyweight in, in the quarter century. 
so there's no shame in that. And then um, he also lost to Joe Joyce, but he was a young pup right then, you know. So uh, I think and and he suffered, a, I believe, a cut. If my memory serves me correctly, he suffered a cut before he got stopped. So I think Daniel Dubois, man, he, he's an emerging star in heavyweight division, and this could definitely um, this could definitely propel him either fur even further to the top of the heavyweight division with the win here against Anthony Joshua. Now Anthony Joshua, we know he um, he also lost to Usyk, so they have a commonality there. They both lost to Usyk. Uh, um, so Anthony Joshua lost twice, one split decision, one unanimous decision. But like I said, there's no shame in that. Usyk is an undisputed heavyweight champion right now. So, and then um, he also had a good win against Pulev. Who the fuck is that guy? Who the fuck is that? No damn well who I am. Who the fuck is that? And Povetkin, right? Those are some good wins. And you know, also Klitschko too. Even it was an older Klitschko, but. Klitschko is an all-time great, so you still got to give him some love for that. And also, too, I will say his win over Joseph Parker, who's been looking great in his last two fights uh, over Wilder. You know, even though Wilder was a shovel himself, you know, he's been severely on a severe, significant decline uh, since losing that trilogy to Tyson Fury. I don't think he's the same. He's just Wilder by name only, but still Joseph Parker beat him. And then I thought that what, in my opinion, was a better win was uh, Joseph Parker against Zayle Zhang. You know, that he, he he overcame two knockdowns on his way to a majority decision win. So my point of bringing Joseph Parker is up is that Anthony Joshua beat him and as time is progressing that win over Joseph Parker is looking better and better as we go forward because Joseph Parker is looking great man ever since teaming up with um with uh, Andy Lee right so uh yeah Anthony Joshua is looking good man you know and um uh, I, I gotta mention the Francis Ngannou because he, he held it down for a uh, boxing man <laughs> hold it down Anthony Joshua one time for the boxing but that's not really an impressive win it, it happened in impressive fashion but it's not an impressive win because Francis Ngannou as much of a fighting phenom he is he's 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 a um he, he's a rookie when it comes to um <laughs> A novice when it comes to boxing. So, um, while there was a the mosquitoes coming out here, man, I got to get inside. It's about to rain too. I'm in Florida, baby. But uh, yeah, so but still, man, Anthony Joshua's been looking good. I definitely think he's he's probably the third in the division after Tyson Fury and after uh, Usyk. So, man, I look forward to this fight, man. I think it's going under the radar. I think we're witnessing the resurgence of a, a heavyweight division. Um, and yeah, man, I think we should be excited for this fight, man. It's, it's setting records is probably going to break a record for the Wembley Stadium attendance. So yeah, man, I'm excited for this fight, man. I think we should talk about it more. But that's why. I'm here. We're going to talk about it, man. I'm looking forward to this. Like I said, I have Dubois. Y'all let me know. Am I crazy for having Dubois? Um, like I said, I don't think he's going to be easy. Um, and I think the favorite is and should be. Well, we know the favorite is Anthony Joshua. It should be Anthony Joshua. And uh, he deserves it. But, man, I, I can see a path of victory for Anthony Joshua, but I can also see a path of victory for Daniel Dubois, man. So I, I'm looking very much forward to this fight. Y'all let me know who y'all got in the comments. And also, most importantly, remember with God, we can do anything without God. We are nothing. Yeah. Talk this out. Peace. From the hood to college, both worlds they had to meet. Six degrees between us, so cold we're about to freeze. But we're Florida boys, hot takes, we bring the heat. We're moving the culture, the engineers to the streets.